here in these big bat caves of Borneo, there's a lot of life. There's thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of bats, and there's lots of swiftlets and cockroaches on the floor. There's a lot going on, but where there's life, there's always death. And sadly, we get to see it because we're in the place with so much life, we see the death as well. Uh, everything must die, and on average, a wild bat might live seven years, but they could live to 30, depending on the species, so they're fairly long-lived, but again, everything must die. And um, here on the floor of this cave is where we see these things, because they fall off the ceiling as they're dying. They don't usually die on the ceiling, they fall while still alive, but almost dead. And what we found here, now this is a live bat. This is a wrinkle-faced bat, and he's alive, and he won't be for long. Uh, what happens here is a very sad story, but it's the story of life and death, is they reach their old age or their sickness, and they fall down off the ceiling, and they hit this floor. Um, he's hitting a fairly nice spot. This isn't full of cockroaches and domestic beetles here, but underneath the big roosts, uh, it is, and they only last a matter of some minutes. Uh, but this guy here, he will be food for the insects on the floor uh, fairly shortly. Um, there's nothing we can do about it. He's not going to survive either way. So a beautiful animal is like a... Wrinkle-faced bats, a really awesome bat, is a fine bat. And that's a, you probably can hear uh, the bats in the background, the big colony is very close to here. But we let nature take its course, and sadly, that course is going to take that, that bat away from us.